Alright, thanks for joining me again, guys. Now, if you missed the last episode, Sheriff Bannerman had tasked us with collecting some security cameras from around town. She wanted to do some zombie surveillance. So she had me collect security cameras and then kind of position them here around the Sheriff's Department so she could uh, see what all's going on around the department here. And now they want us to check on Deputy Andy and see what he needs us to do. So he's right up here on the roof. So we're going to talk to Mr. Andy and uh, see what he needs us to do today. I'm sure it's going to have something to do with, with killing zombies. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab this quest. Jeez, you never saw anything like this in the cop shows. Well, maybe on cable, not the network ones. You wouldn't know it from looking out there, but before that wicked bad fog rolled in, Kingsmith was a sleepy little burg. Nothing stronger on the streets than a hot cup of coffee and chocolate glazed donuts from Susie's. The occasional DUI or domestic disturbance. Human sacrifice. But, but every town has a dark side, right? We sure are getting a heap help in the darkness now, eh? The walking dead and worse besides taking over our town. Our survivors hold up in here, hoping it's all just a bad dream and we'll wake up to the smell of bacon and maple syrup. But unless someone ups and does something, and soon, all we're gonna wake up to is the smell of rotten flesh. And I don't need another thing to remind me of my dad. Halloween does bring back the memories, eh? Man, him talking made me hungry. Talking about bacon and maple syrup. And donuts. Anyways, he's needing me to kill uh, six ravenous horde. Seems fairly simple. I can just go out and around this way. And uh, it looks like this is gonna be a wave defense. I'm at the northern barricade. Quit, quit yelling at me, lady. I hear you, I hear you. We got some more trouble on the south barricade. Man, she's bossy. Let's go the outside here. Like she could just tell me one time. They're taking that southern barricade apart. It looks like it's still here to me. We held off the undead hordes for 
another day. Or at least another five minutes. Alright, so looks like now I need to uh, find the source. Another player. Oh man, it's a big crab. Big crab guy. Much easier than I feel like he should have been. Let's go ahead and send our mission report. A talisman bag. So now I need to. Find Norma Creed. So it looks like she's headed out of town this way. Go ahead and grab this side mission, the hunger. Visual tracking initiated. Track the blood trail and find the predator. Special assignment received. Initializing. Healed. Now it's running away. It's level six. I should be able to take him out too. Try to take take out Traveler's Torment here. We got him, and he gave us an item reward. We'll see what that is after I kill this Wisp. Let's see what he gave us. Another talisman. Alright, so let's get back on the blood trail here. Looks like another pile of corpses here. Oh, jeez. It's not expecting to be a Wendigo. Visual tracking engine. I 
gotta find his lair, his cave. See another one over there, but I don't think that's the one that I was following. It's right there. Is it? That... Oh, that's a different one. Got him. Let's turn that mission in as well. Let's see what we get. Got a weapon reward on that one. It's an assault rifle. Okay, let's head back and find Norma. Kind of got off track there following that blood trail. I will say I enjoyed the atmosphere in the game and the gameplay. It's very story driven. I, I'm not a fan of the combat. I'm hoping it changes a little bit more as I play. Forgotten a fiend. Let's go see what level he is. So that's probably him right there up against the wall. It is. He's level 6. I should be able to take him. He gave us another talisman. Collecting a bunch of those talismans. Oh, okay, I remember Normal was the one that was standing out here with a shotgun. Okay. Let's see what she needs me to do. So, she wants me to help her defend her house, it looks like. Oh, yeah. You'd think these wet bits would just fizzle on the bonfire, but no. They sparkle like kindling wood. That's heartening. <laughs> ah, jeez, what a mess. Good thing I'm not particular. Now I'm used to getting my hands dirty. Fish guts, childbirth, sutures, the dead. Yeah, maybe I was born for this work. Ah, that don't sound right. Nobody's made for this ungodly work. Except maybe this old thing. 
So I kill and I chop and I burn, but there's more of them every day, and I feel like I'm pushing a very big stone up a very steep mountain, and it keeps rolling back down. What do you call that? Sisyphean? Or is that when you get a burning in your privates? <laughs> My idea of culture is reruns of cheers and, you know, not ancient Greek mythology. Well, the old gal ain't a proper match for everything that turns up on my doorstep. Seems she's too much for most of it. Spreads a bone of dead man's guts all over the place. Well, there's no time to gather it all up before we're right back up in the thick of it. And they never stop coming. They never stop coming. So they never stop coming, endless waves of zombies. I need to go to the back of her house. I guess she's gonna have me defend the back of her house while she watches the front. Well great, she's gonna yell at me to defend the fence. straight through the fence. Now I need to collect some zombie body parts. Alright, so now I need to kill some slow and dry zombies for body parts, some wet zombies, some fast moving zombies, and some cultist zombies. A returned townie. really easy he just threw up all over the place What is that guy?
he didn't count. Too many, way too many. I should have avoided that beach. Box of flares? It's another side quest. Go ahead and take that. I need to set off a signal flare. I feel like this is going to attract unwanted attention from some big zombies or something. Dropped a piece of legend though. Oh man, it's down there.
I can just run through those things without setting them off. Exactly what I thought. Summon some big guy who was pissed off. Summon a giant crab. Alright, well, that's done. All right, now let's get back to Norma's quest. See if I can get past these guys without making them. Nope. Of course not. Okay, it's on cooldown. So it looks like the side missions in this game you can repeat about every 68 hours. exploded into a pile of dust. This, this ridge line here. Oh, and I aggroed one of them.
Special assignment received. Initializing. Special assignment. What do we got here? Father Appleby. Shield. Talisman and a weapon. Examine the blue cultist fires. Let's go over here and see what they're barbecuing. Hundred health left. Just need to kill one more. Detected. Initiating. Cool. There's another guy down there. What level 
What is he? Level 7. That much trouble. Shotgun in it. See that guy behind me. Let's go ahead and turn that one in. Like I probably shouldn't be lighting these. Just feels like this is another one of the the flare things where it's gonna summon some big monster. Defeat the cult leader. That was done. Gave me a fist weapon. Now I need to go check back in on Norma. Let's go see what Norma's up to. Try to sprint through all these zombies. See if I can... There's another big guy out there. Hey Norma, I'm back. Well now, I'm not much fit for entertaining, but I reckon you ain't much in the mood for hospitality either, am I right? Oh, I'm not a big talker, eh? I'm used to that from a surly husband and kids more comfortable with kicking a ball around and having a conversation with their ma. Name's Nama, Nama Creed. Raised a family up here before this dungeon thick fog came took him as my story. Helen sent you over to check on me, I reckon. Now, your concern is wicked kind, but I don't need any pitying. I got my shotgun, I got what's left of my wits. I'll manage. Now, this hullabaloo began after the Lady Margaret came back. My husband Larry, the others, we all thought that they'd gone missing out there, but the sea took them. They, they came back, whole town could finally breathe again. Then came that fog, like it was following them back to shore. Twas right, said they, such birds to slay, that bring the fog and mist. <laughs> Don't ask me where I got that from. 
Probably heard it on Oprah. Never got to ask Larry about what happened in those weeks they were gone. Been around gift horses long enough not to look him in the mouth. He was back. Thought life would go on the way life goes on, one day at a time. When the fog lifts enough to see the Lady Margaret laid up in the harbor, covered in that red seaweed, I always wonder if he'd still be here if I had. All right, so that completes that one. I have earned Norma's trust. It's gonna do it for this episode. So on the next one, we will start on investigating the Lady Margaret. So we're gonna go to that ship and see what is going on. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to catch the rest of the content, and don't miss out. I'll talk to you guys later.